Ugh, I hate crafting our duty. It sucks. Why do we even have to do this stuff? It's our punishment in prison and how we'll benefit society for what we did. Or at least that's what we're told. I think Sarah's right. Whatever we're in for, this duty is to atone. Yeah, I don't believe it though. I think it's just labor. Hey, has anyone seen Samantha? I haven't seen her all day. I believe she went to prank the warden. That girl will never learn that messing with them gets her into major trouble. Finally, it's ready. The warden's coffee will taste like hot bath water. <laughs> now, it's time to go to his office. <sighs> She's going to end up getting sent to solitary confinement for life if she keeps that up. Is it possible to be sent to solitary confinement for life? Not yet, but if we know Sam like we do, then she'll make it possible. What a fool. You're telling me? What an idiot. You literally can't talk. Didn't you get your head stuck in a toilet last week? Shh! You don't have to say that in front of everybody. So we have Toilet Boy and Prank Girl. You two are perfect for each other. Don't you dare continue that thought, Sally. You know what? Well, I'll tell Damien what you think about him. I personally think you approaching Damien would be more brave than him approaching us. We have a dagger on our side and we're not afraid to use it. Hey, there we go. That's the buzzer. Alright and mates, make sure everything you've made is in the chest, and go for dinner! Come on guys, if Samantha hasn't been caught, then she might be waiting for us. Hey there she is! How'd your prank go? It went perfectly. I'm going to remember his reaction for as long as I live. Sounds like you had fun while we were working. Let's see how long until they find out. <laughs> Please, they'll never find out. They simply aren't smart enough. We had to make up an excuse that you were sick and you were resting in your cell, so you better enjoy a visit from Sean tonight. I personally like Sean. He's surprisingly considerate. He gave me contraband when I first got here. Ooh, contraband! What was it? A knife? What? No. A gun? No! You are such a psychopath! Was it a- No, before you say it, it was not a sword. Damn it! It was worth a shot. Why are weapons the first thing that comes to your mind? You have an extremely dangerous mind sometimes. Leo, come with me. You have a visitor. I do? Who is it? A woman named Leanne, I believe. Wait, for real? I can't believe she actually visited me. Who is she? Your girlfriend. <laughs> nice joke. <laughs> I don't have one. Oh, that's actually sad. I feel bad for you. Okay, Miss Popular, calm down. Anyway, Sean, where is she now? She's in the visitation room. Follow me. Hmm. So the Brunt has a visitor. Interesting. Boys, I'll be back. All right. She's in there. Thank you. Oh, Leo. Oh, I've been so worried about you. What happened? Long story. Sit down. I'll explain everything. Basically, I woke up pretty late, and when I went on my computer, I seen a new game that was on sale at the Sunnyside Game Store, so I went to buy it. But when I got to the game store, an interrogator just came running into the store and arrested me with like literally no proof whatsoever. Wait, so... What did he say you did? Uh, apparently I strangled five kids. You what? I didn't actually. You know I wouldn't kill anyone. You're right. Too bad he didn't listen to you. 
Oh, that's not even the worst part. He also shot me in the foot. Okay, what the hell? Where is he? I'll kill him! Oh, calm down, Anna. You don't want to end up in here with me. But don't worry, I won't be here for much longer anyway. Hopefully. But your sentence is 15 years. Unless... You're not. As soon as possible, I am. Anyway, how's Amanda? I'm going to be honest. She's really sad with her big brother in jail. That's understandable. <sighs> but again, I'll hopefully be out of here soon, so don't worry. Alright, visiting time is over! Leo, it's still lunchtime. Remember? Yeah, I got you, Sean. A goodbye? Of course! Hopefully I'll see you soon! So he was shot in the foot, was he? Interesting. So, Spilled Beans, who visited you? Why do you all want to know? We're curious. You say it's not your girlfriend, so who was it? It was my mom. Ma'am? We got a British boy over here! Oh, quiet. I'm going to head back to my cell. I'm going to bed. But it's only 5 p.m. There's nothing happening for the rest of the day, and I'm tired. All right, boys. Everything is going according to plan. Plan? What plan? A plan for our prison takeover, of course. Hello, how can we help you? I was asked to give this to you. What even is that? Some kind of radio? Brock, Hunter, come with me now. Boys, it's finally time. He's reached out to us. It's about damn time! What are we waiting for? Use it! Hello, boys! It's been a while! You're telling me? Why did it take you this long to reach out to us? I apologize, Damien. But you know I'm a busy man. Tell me! prison life are you kidding terrible i can't get into all the details about why but let's just say there's a rat who has a death wish oh the demon that i know wouldn't let someone disrespect them that much has prison made you soft of course not i'm just trying to think of how i should proceed it doesn't really help that he's with that sarah girl now He's really scary. I don't think we should try and get close to Leo. Are you kidding? This is a perfect opportunity to take your revenge out on someone with a death wish. Who said she has to be around? Or maybe if you could get this arrogant boy to start it, then you could claim it as self-defense. Have I ever told you that you're a genius? Only every day before we were sent to prison. Anyways, do you have a plan for us moving forward? But of course, I need these three for my plan. That is why when the time comes, you won't be here anymore. 
Hopefully you've got your issue sorted by then. <laughs> oh, don't you worry. It'll be sorted all right. You heard him, boys. We're going to do everything we can to get Leo out of the picture before we are out of here. Um, they're taking this way too far. What are they planning on doing to Leo? And who were they just talking to? His voice sounded kind of familiar somehow. Almost like I've heard it from somewhere. Boss, what's the next step? Make sure to keep an eye on those three. Make sure they don't get themselves killed. I know how ambitious Damien can be. Well, of course, sir, but may I ask why you're speaking through a radio and not here in person? One reason, and one reason only. If I show up in person, he can track me down. 